What's well, up, everybody, and welcome back to an Idiot's Road to Glory Unlucky episode number 13, which just so happens to coincide with my first proper Division Rivals rewards. Hopefully, 13 isn't going to be unlucky for me. We've done 13 in a row so far. We've smashed them out every day. We deserve some good Division Rivals rewards, EA, because we've been absolutely playing far too far, 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 far too much FIFA in the past couple of days to get these Div Rival rewards and to get myself basically almost qualified for foot champs. But without further ado, let's jump into comment of the day, which comes from Donovan Wright, who said that he's accepting the fact that he'll never get comment of the day and has started liking comments that I think Andy will pick so he can have some contribution to comment of the day. This is the attitude that I like that Donovan, you've won yourself comment of the day by being such an absolute legend. Get involved down in the comment section. You don't just comment just to try and get comment of the day by posting memes and copying X comment of the day and stuff like that. I read basically every comment on this channel and you guys are always discussing stuff. Like if I just scroll through one of the last videos that I uploaded, there's loads of different discussions and people getting involved with stuff. So if you see other people, reply to them. I'll be replying to you in the comment section. Give them a thumbs up if you think it's a good comment. Like Zin, 3000 who said that this series is awesome but he preferred the one last year because there was more live and less commentating over the top of stuff got a little bit of that maybe like five or six minutes of stuff i did but we're going to jump live get into some rewards and all that good stuff and i think the last couple of episodes two guys have also been fully live as well so kind of just as i've settled into fifa we've got more live stuff because i'm less just addicted to playing loads and loads of fifa and showing you guys that and commentating over the top of it so we mix of both like most of the episodes will be stuff i did and then live or either 100 percent live there won't be too many episodes where it's just full on commentating over the top of stuff that I've done. So, yeah, you guys are discussing that down in the comment section anyway, and I always read your stuff and everything that you're saying and that guy's saying about Club Blindness a couple of episodes and all stuff like that. I'd love to see all your guys' comments, so pop them down there. Even if you don't think you're going to get a comment of the day, thumbs up the ones that you think you will, and congrats, Donovan, you're in yourself a comment of the day for being an absolute legend and basically just a team player. But anyway, like I said, stuff I did, let's get into it. We are kicking it off with a game against what is essentially a better version of our La Liga team, which is depressing to see. Got Diego Costa and Anarchy Williams, he's got Ben Yedder, Busquets, the better Hernandez brother at left back, a nice little inform at centre back. But to be honest with you, we were using our Brazilian team, as you can see, the two Lucases passing the ball to each other there. We were doing pretty good, and this is a reasonably long clip that essentially summarises what happened in the first half. I was absolutely all over him. This guy couldn't get out of his own half, but I just couldn't bloody score, be it because I did a little bit of a bad touch there and didn't lay the ball off fast enough with Lucas, or a multitude of other things, and then every time he tried to counter-attack me, we were always there covering it. Felipe is an absolute god on this game. And then play it off from the back and basically get straight back on the attack and get back to trying to score against this guy. This is how the whole first half went. I absolutely love this Brazil team. I play so well with it. I play so much better than the other one. Most of my play does go through Lucas. I don't know how we don't end up scoring here. In fact, I do because that's not the clip that I was thinking of. Talisca almost scored. And again, he just can't get the ball out. We've got it back with Talisca once again. We're looking to make a shooting opportunity. He tries to flick it around the corner. Didn't quite. His goalie's having an absolute mare. I couldn't make Lucas run towards the ball. It was just chaos. Constant, constant pressure. I don't have high pressure set up or pressure on heavy touch or anything like that. I've got my defence on balance. Maybe I should move to the one of the pressury ones. I'm not really sure. But... My defendant's pretty good. He almost got away with me from me with an Arky Williams there. But once again, tracked it all right. Tellers this time sweeps up the two Porto boys doing bits. And again, how on earth we don't score yet. A lovely bit of work from Firmino. Lucas gets down the line, bombing himself into the box, whips that crossing. Paulinho, mate. What are you doing? That was a shot. And again, look, I've just controlled the bomb for Firmino in a box and he's just blew for half time. Ref, come on. It's like you don't want me to score. I was trying so hard to score and they just didn't seem to want to let me. How Paulinho hasn't scored there, I've got no idea. And how the ref thought that that was a suitable time to blow the whistle, I've got absolutely no idea. Anyway, but back into the second half, it was the same sort of story. Unfortunately, this time, though, they did manage to catch us pretty luckily on the counter-attack. See, his, co his cross got deflected towards the back post, which then meant my goalie had an absolute nightmare and wouldn't lock onto the ball and just catch it. We lost the header at the back post to Rodrigo because it then looped all the way over after taking a deflection. And he was pretty sure he nodded it with the back of his head past my goalie. So I was a bit annoyed to concede that goal. I'm not gonna, gonna be honest with you guys. I feel like I've got a lot better at FIFA throughout the past few episodes. Like, like you guys were saying, a lot of this stuff was commentated over the top of and showing you guys just a few games, but it ended up taking ages and loads of trading and stuff like that. I've gone and absolutely smashed out tons of games, basically. I'm not gonna bore you with showing you every single one. And I feel like I've got well better 
almost scored a nice little finesse shot with Taliska there. And then he clattered through the back of Paul Firmino and ends up going and gets him. Not only does he give away a pen, he goes and gets himself sent off, which is pretty stupid. Probably should have just let me score. So there goes his Condog beer. He paused the game to, I think that was Condog. Was it Condog beer? I feel like I feel like that said Condog beer just there. Unless I've, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I'm pretty sure that just said Condog beer. But anyway, we used this opportunity to make a couple of substitutions just to get ourselves a Narky Williams and Dembele on, on the wings just for a little bit. A bit more pace, a bit of bit, a bit more quality on the left hand side to be perfectly honest with you and just to refresh the legs on the right and get a bit more of a bully in an Archie Williams to bomb in. Firmino steps up, tucks away nicely, that guy didn't move and we just slotted it marginally to his left hand side and Firmino runs off to celebrate with the cameraman like he's just won the Champions League, shushing the camera. But anyway, good stuff, we're back in the game, it's one all, he's got a red card and the domination only picked up from here. A couple of minutes later, pinging the ball down the line. Beautiful little first touch from Anarchy Williams to take it down. Sprays it inside to Taliska. Nice little bit of footwork inside to Firmino. Bang, 2-1. And he's ahead. Jobs are good and very, very nice. We finally actually managed to score. And Firmino runs off to do his, his X or A celebration. The one where you hold it and it does the actual celebration. I can't ever remember seeing Firmino do that in real life, but apparently that is his signature celebration on this game. I don't know. Anyway, a nice little finish from inside the box, finessed it into the far post and made it 2-1. Very, very nice. Probably for the first time in this game, we've actually got the scoreline that we should have. You can see I've subbed on Saul at this point. It's the 80th minute. And again, just not letting him get the ball out of his own half, to be honest with you. Still working on them L1 fake shot things and which way the best, which what the best direction is to go in when you're down the line to use them. But if you can use them, they are super, super effective. Firmino, is involved in everything, but can't quite get the through ball through to Dembele there. But like I said, he just can't get the ball out of his own half. Firmino, once again, makes a bit of space and an absolute banger of a finish this time into the top corner, grabbing himself a hat-trick. This guy's, like I've just said, is involved in everything and is absolutely sick on this game. 86 rated, slap a marksman, I think I've got on him, to give him dribble and passing and shooting. Is that right? I think that's right. Maybe it's dribble and, no, dribble and physical and shooting. And he's just an absolute god. I couldn't recommend him enough. Like, this Brazilian team's sick. There's a couple of weak links that I want to, want to address, but and maybe we'll see what we're going to do with that once we've grabbed our rewards. But first of all, no rewards yet. We're grabbing ourselves 80 foot champs tokens and putting, foot champs tokens and putting ourselves within 1,500, within 500, we got 1,500. Oh my God, I can't speak. Within 500 tokens of qualification. Grabbed ourselves some skill points to get like up to 1736 and grabbed ourselves some weekly reward points as well. You can see we've got 78,000 coins now on this little road to glory journey and a couple of sick teams. And as we jump over to the trade pile, you'll see that a lot of these coins have come from Thomas Lamar, who we sold for 23,500 coins. After this, I then went a little bit mental and did quite a lot of trading. And as you guys can see, I've got 102,000 coins, a lot of Napoli players. I've got a couple of Raul Albiols that are sold for 3k for 2,000 coins. There's that Thomas Lamar, obviously. Then Gulam and Haysaj were selling for like 2,600, 2,500. And I was picking them up for like a maximum of 2k, some of them for like 1,200, some for 1,500, some for 1,800. I'm just making a nice little bit of profit on them. Mario Rui and Kirikez are 2,400, exactly the same. Max price 2,000, maybe make 300 coins, maybe grab one for 1,000 coins and make a couple of k. Very, very nice. Same for Fabian, we picked up a blue Maximovic, same for Diawara. Couple of Ajax players there for the other side of that SBC where you have to use Bayern players. And then an absolute crap load of silver EFL players for that other SBC. El Ghazi in particular making me absolute bank. I picked them up for like a thousand coins and two thousand coins and sold them for almost nine, which was mental. You can see we've got a couple of Malkoes still left to sell at this point, but doing pretty decent, got 102K. And then if we jump to the live, where you can see we're waiting to pick our results, pick up our rewards, not our results, it's not our GCSEs. Oh my God, I've gone mental. We've got 125,000 coins from just doing some more trading, basically. Been doing absolute bits. I think I then went and I'm not sure if that trade pile was quite full then. I feel like I filled it up to the brim to all max 100, cleared it out and then filled it up some more and we've got some more stuff here. So another Maximovic, snipe this one. I wish you could see how much you bought them for when you're on this and how much you've then sold them on for, but it just says a dash. It doesn't actually tell you. But again, picking this guy up. Someone's listing the blue one for like 1,900 coins or something like that. And I've picked it up and sold it for 2,600 because it's blue. 
Malcolm going for 2,400, 2,300, depending on the market. Picking him up again, maximum of 2,000 coins. It's not massive profit, but it's profit. Like, if you sell a player for 2,400 coins, the exact amount you get is what you lose, 120 coins. So you get 2,280 back. I'm going to double check that on my phone to make sure I've done the 5% thing properly. 2,400 times 0.95. Yeah, 2,280 back. It's 280 coins for doing basically absolutely nothing. Because you're just sitting there sniping, waiting for the ones that cost a thousand, you pick them ones up and then you sell them on, you make 1200, 1300 coins in one go and you're absolutely buzzing. But while you're sitting there waiting for them, you may as well grab these ones and sell them on and make a couple of 300 coins. Do that 10 times, you've made three grand while you're just sitting there waiting for an, actual, an absolute bargain to pop up. So it's worth doing, don't be too stingy with your profit margins when you're sniping. As long as you can sell the cards on guaranteed instant sell, as this guy was a 2324, depending on what time I was doing it. Just grab them. It really doesn't matter if you only make a couple hundred coins if it sells instantly. It's just free coins in it while you're sitting there trying to get the absolutely banging deals. El Ghazi, as you can see, has now dropped down in price. That one where I was showing you then was a couple was it a couple of days ago. I think it was only a day ago, actually. I think it was not last night, the night before or yesterday morning or something like that to me now. But his price has come down a little bit as the people have done the SBC and everyone else isn't really that bothered about doing the SBC for the... EFL Football League Championship, whatever the bloody hell you want to call it, where you get to pick one of them special cards. I'm not particularly bothered myself. Again, Bjornsson's there, and they've just got a couple of random duplicates chilling down here. But we've got 125,000 coins, and like I said, a couple of six squads. This one in particular is absolutely banging, and I've got a couple of ideas for upgrades for it, but it's going to be based on as well what we get in our rewards now, because if we get something absolutely mental, then we can go absolutely mental with our team. And obviously, I'm going to ask you guys what you think as well. So... We've got the choice between 44,000 coins, which we could get, but that is incredibly boring. And as you've seen, I made myself about 44,000 coins by doing a couple of hours of trading, just doing some sniping on Napoli players and English football league players. That's, in, that's insanely boring. We're not doing that. We definitely aren't doing that. That's like six days worth of grinding foot champs or div rivals, I should say, to get into foot champs for 44k when I could just go and grind some trading and do some sniping for a few hours and make 40, not even a few hours, like an hour and make 44k. Definitely not taking that. So, the options are... I mean, the logical thing is probably to take that if you just want to get some coins. But we're going to go big or go home. We're going for some packs. So, we've got a one rare players pack, which is a 50k pack, I do believe. And a mega pack. Or, we can have two mega packs and two rare players packs. But they're untradeable. This is the trouble. I think I've got to go for I've got to go for option three, haven't I? As much as I would love to get two extra packs or double my packs. The odds of me getting something good in one of these is very, very slim anyway. The odds of it being something good that I can then use from the untradeable pack is even smaller. So I think at this point in FIFA, I've got to take option three and go for either use the good player that I get, that I hopefully get, or at the very worst, I can sell them and buy a different good player that actually fits in my team. So like I'm thinking maybe I get insanely lucky in Pat Lewandowski in an untradeable pack. Brilliant, but that's absolutely no use to me. I've got to go and then build a whole new team around Lewandowski, so that's a pain in the bum. Whereas here, I could sell Lewandowski and buy myself Douglas Costa to go on my left wing of my Brazil team or something like that. So that's why I'm going to go for this option. Maybe a little bit further down in FIFA, maybe Icon SBCs will come out. Maybe there's some SBCs we want to do. Maybe we just want to stack our club up. We can start going for this one and trading in the players for SBCs. But for now, whilst we're just trying to upgrade the club and get some sick teams... I am going to go for this one. And we got 130 foot champs points as well, which is very, very nice. I believe that was rank two of Div 5. It was indeed. I am now, as we claim our stuff. Thank you very much, EA. I'll show you guys. We are... Oh, we've lost a bit of skill rating. We have actually. I lost two games last night at like two o'clock in the morning, making sure that I've made, made rank two. Turns out I'm pretty sure I didn't need to at all. And all I've done is thrown away about 60 skill rating for absolutely like playing with my eyes closed essentially at like 2 a.m i don't think i actually needed to do it because i was like working out like okay we're 2000 ahead there's 10 hours left it goes up 200 an hour oh god i need to play some more games when realistically it doesn't go up 200 an hour at four o'clock in the morning does it like no one's playing i could have just went to sleep but instead we lost a load of skill rating but anyway it doesn't really matter we've got eight 1782 Foot champs tokens, and we've got 14 hours to get 220 more. So that should be very easily doable. That's like three wins in Div 4, which is nice. And we've got two packs. So there they are. These are the two big ones. Our mega pack is a 35k pack, I do believe. And this 
It's 12 items, all gold, all players, all rare, all 50,000 coins worth of goodness. Let's grab the mega pack first. Come on. 35k pack. Hit me with a board at least. Okay, it's not a walkout. Is it boards? Please be boards. It's not boards! No, don't do me like this, EA. I know it's the 13th episode, but you don't want to be dropping me stindle. Okay. Okay. It's all or nothing on the 50k pack. Maybe I've been stupid and open this. I swear to God, you get better pack luck when there's not as many players online. Maybe I'm just mental. Maybe that's actually how the algorithm works. I'm not sure. I'm probably just being stupidly superstitious and confirmation bias and all of that crap. I don't think any of these guys are going to be worth anything, are they? They are literally just cannon fodder for... Oh, I kept... Wait, what? Well, there you go. Someone's buying coins. Nice. Okay. <laughs> this guy is, yeah, worthless. This dude... Nope. Jao Mario, I don't think it's worth anything. Yeah, okay. Crap. Absolutely nothing in this pack that is worth any coins. Loads of stuff just to fill our club with contracts and healing cards and all of that. Oh, 3,000 coins! There we go. That's the most expensive thing we got in this pack. Thank you very much, EA. We'll throw that in there. And it's literally all or nothing for the Div Rivals rewards on a 50k pack. It's currently 5.30 on the night that these come out. Literally millions of people are online. As you guys can see, the market is rammed with five and a half million things. I swear it'd be better to open these at like 1am when there'd be about two million things on the market because there's like a third of the amount of people online. But we're just going to go for it now because I need to play them. I needed to get these rewards to be able to finish off the games and actually qualify for foot champs. And the pack's here. I can't not open it. Let's do it. Let's pray. Pray for at least boards. Or a walkout. Come on, walkout. No, it's not a walkout. Please be You've got to be boards. It's a 50k pack, man. Okay, yes. Good. Good. Oh, it's Glick. Oh, why is it always Glick? Ooh, all I've got is cannon fodder for SBCs. I should have just took. I should have just took the untradeable ones. And I could have had another two goes at better cannon fodder. Well, frustrating, but we needed to do it anyway to qualify for Foot Champs. And to be honest with you, I just enjoyed playing it. So I'm not going to... Oh, okay, we got Hector Bellerin. He's worth some coins. All right, yeah, he's worth like 6k. This guy is worth nothing. Nice, good. Zhao Pins with 1600. We got him the other day, didn't we? We know about that. Emre Chan is not worth anything. Okay, we can't sell him. Hector Bellerin is the best thing. Hector Bellerin and then a 3k coins card is the best things we got in our Division Rivals rewards. Pretty tragic. Next week, what we're going to be able to do, because hopefully I'm going to show you guys how it works now. Let me stick these on the transfer list. We'll keep the rest of the guys for now. The way it works when you go into foot champs, you get qualification tokens for foot champs by playing foot champs, which is pretty decent. So, as you can see, silver 2 and 3, which is 6 wins and 8 wins, get you a thousand points and silver one gets you 2,000 tokens. So that's an instant requalification for the next week of Div Rivals. So next week, as we'll already be qualified for foot champs anyway, and we won't need to be like grinding out some last minute tokens, we can probably keep our awards and wait until like 11 p.m., 12 p.m., something like that in the night and open them when the server's are a little bit quieter and we can test that theory about whether you get better stuff. We're actually gonna get better awards this week as well because we've now been recalculated into Division 4, which is very, very nice. We got Div 4 awards this week. So instead, coming second would get us an option of 50k coins, a pre Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and a 50k pack. Is that miss? That must be missing an option. You must get a 30... I think that's a bug that they're looking to fix. Yeah, that's got to be... Oh, yeah, it says more... Oh, no, more rewards is over here. Yeah, that's got to be missing an option, 100%, because that's worse than Div 4. Div 5 is better than Div 4. Yeah, that's... Okay, so I think you get a 35k pack and the 15k pack as well. So probably take that. Get some extra foot champs tokens. Like I said, you probably don't need them if you've played foot champs and got yourself into silver one, which is pretty reasonable for most people. Yeah. So we can probably open these a little bit later and we can test our little theory about pack luck. But for now, I'm going to leave the video there. I'm going to go and play a couple of games to make sure I get qualified for Foot Champs, which starts in 14 hours. We've got a few games left to go. It should be pretty easy. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.